Jeanick Fournier took the whole of Canada by storm when she appeared in the auditions of Canada's Got Talent. She sang Celine Dion's I Surrender and instantly captivated the whole crowd. Her beautiful rendition of such a difficult song was more than enough for host Lindsay L to give her the golden buzzer. All the judges, Howie Mandel, Cardinal Official, Lily Singh, and Trish Stratus gave her a standing ovation and only had good things to say about the amazing singer. Those who watched the audition were quick to point out her similar tone and voice to Celine Dion. Interestingly enough, Jeanick actually learned English by watching and listening to her favorite singers, Celine Dion, Lara Fabian, Whitney Houston, and Barbara Streisand. According to the description given by the YouTube channel of Canada's Got Talent, Jeanick imitated the singer's breathing, pronunciation, and way of speaking in interviews. Her efforts were not unanswered, as she went on to sing big songs on Canada's Got Talent and eventually won the show in its second season. Soon after Canada's Got Talent, Jeanick signed with the record company, Universal Music Canada, and released her self-titled debut album in October 2022. The album had duets with Lindsay L with the song cover of Faith Hill's Paris and Maxime Landry with the cover of Daniel Balavoine's Disless Chris Les S.O.S. The album also had Jonic's rendition of I Surrender and several covers of songs from artists like Amanda Marshall, Roxette, Lawrence Jalbert, Sam Brown, and Cindy Lauper. When she came to America's Got Talent All-Star, Jeanick performed a heartfelt rendition of I'll Never Love Again from A Star Is Born. The whole crowd was on its feet by the end of the performance, and the judges did not forget to rain praises on her. Heidi Klum, having heard the singer for the first time among the judges, remarked that Jeanick was a born singer who was meant to be on the stage. Simon Cowell, on the other hand, expressed his respect for Jeanick, who had decided to compete on the show again, even after winning Canada's Got Talent, adding that he loved people like her who had bigger ambitions. Howie Mandel agreed with Simon's words and further claimed that Jeanick was brave to compete without the fear of losing, praising her choice to believe in her own talents. And while her talent is definitely a strong trait, Jonick's bold approach could also be a testament to her years of experience in performing. The 50-year-old has been singing for quite a long time, having performed in Quebec for several years. She even performed in a Celine Dion tribute show. Her love for Celine Dion is definitely worthy of taking note. Why, you ask? Well, Jeanick has been touring since 2006 with a show that is fully entirely devoted to Celine Dion. On top of that, in 2019, she even released a show called Sync Divas where her Dion repertoire showcased songs by Lady Gaga, Whitney Houston, Jeanette Reno, and Lara Fabian. While singing may be her selling point, Jeanick also has another job. When she is not enchanting people with her beautiful notes, the singer is taking care of people in a palliative care center in Chicoutimi. In an interview at the Old Montreal offices of Universal Music Canada, Jeanick talked about the similarities between her two jobs and how both of the work brought her the same feelings. She said, to be close to my patients or to be on stage doing a show, the two things bring me the same amount of love and happiness. Jeanick then revealed why both of her jobs were tied together and said, I like taking care of people. The thing that ties the two jobs together is that they are both about giving, about sharing. With a heart as big as hers, it makes sense that Jeanick has adopted two lovely children with Down syndrome, Johan and Emma. Her love for the children is evident on her Instagram account which is filled with pictures of the two kids. Her kind nature has reached several people, including her partner. Although she has never mentioned his name, Jeanick often posts pictures with her partner with captions that relay her love for the man. In October 2022, the couple celebrated two years of togetherness. Jeanick posted a series of pictures with her man and thanked her fate for having crossed paths with him. This is it, guys. We have already reached the end of the video. Please like and comment to share your thoughts and subscribe for more videos like this.